everyone, welcome to another Flow Lounge, coming to you from inside today because it's pouring rain outside, winter is most definitely here, and so we're staying well away from the trails. So what's everyone talking about this week in the world of mountain biking? Well, obviously, the Fort William World Cup is on everyone's lips. Always a classic race, uh, one of the oldest uh, courses in the World Cup circuit, along with uh, Mont St. Anne, and delivers great racing uh, every single time. From an Aussie perspective, it was unreal to see Kaya Hearn, the uh, Canyon Factory Racing Junior, take out his first ever World Cup win. Undoubtedly going to be the first of many victories uh, for this young fella. Troy Bosland, of course, his teammate, managing to take out third as well. Uh, great to see Troy on the podium uh, once again. In terms of other Australians, it wasn't quite the weekend out that everyone was hoping for. Tracy Hannah did get fifth, so awesome to see her on the podium, but still not the result she would have been hoping for after having previously won here in Fort William. In terms of the Aussie blokes, it was a bit of a disaster run. Um, Jack Moyer is out at the moment. He busted his collarbone training back in Australia. His collarbone is apparently made of chalk. And then Dean Lucas, his teammate on the Intense Factory Racing team, had a massive, massive crash and is uh, quite lucky um, in some regards. He knocked himself out for a number of minutes after ragdolling at about 55 k's an hour. Of course, all eyes were on Aaron Gwynn at this race. It was his chance to equal the number of World Cup wins that Greg Minar has um, in 21. Aaron Gwynn currently sitting on 20. The Californian crashed out, however, um, and uh, ended up back down the ranking, still inside the top 20. But he's going to have to wait now um, to Lee Gang, where he has won many, many times before, um, to try and equal that record of Greg Minar. In the meantime, Greg Minar is sidelined with a broken arm. So pretty tense times at the top there. Minar probably quietly um, a little bit happy to see um, Gwyn not able to equal his record on this occasion. Cool to see so many French riders on the uh, on the men's podium as well. Omari Perron, who is his uh, first ever uh, World Cup win, the Commonsar rider, absolutely losing his mind um, to have done so. And then Loris Vergier and Loic Bruni also up there on the podium. Tani Seagrave in the women's, absolutely stoked to have taken the win in front of her home crowd. Um, and really, uh, what a thrill that must have been. 20,000 fans crammed into that finish arena at Fort William. So imagine the feeling of rolling down into that, into that finish line, uh, knowing that you'd done it in front of your, your, front of your home crowd. Bringing things back locally, um, there's been a bit of discussion in the last couple of weeks um, about the um, MTBA National Series. Uh, obviously the National Series in here in Australia, um, and we don't think it's any secret, has been uh, down in the dumps a little bit compared to how it used to be um, back in the day. Um, we remember when uh, the National Series used to get hundreds and hundreds of riders across all kinds of levels, and it just doesn't do that anymore. For some reason, the National Series doesn't attract um, big numbers of riders. It tends to be viewed as something that's only really uh, for the elites to worry about, uh, and uh, consequently, we don't seem to get a, um, a huge number of riders at the National Series anymore. There's probably all kinds of other reasons that you like to chip in uh, about why you might not race the National Series anymore or why you think it's not doing so well, and feel free to stick those in the comments, of course. But the National Series, there is rumors going around that it's gonna get a massive revamp, but we wanna hear from you. If you had the chance to start from scratch uh, with the National Series here in Australia, across all disciplines, what would you do? What would it look like? What do you think is the best format? And we don't want this to turn into a slanging match with people writing off MTBA or writing off each other or Cycling Australia or anyone, we just want to hear constructive thoughts on what you would do if you had the chance to start the National Series, uh, again from scratch, in a format that was more relevant, going to attract more numbers, um, was more accessible and going to be more successful ultimately in growing the sport here in Australia. So over to you guys, stick it in the comments below um, or whatever you want to do, send us an email. That is about it. Make sure you check out our highlights wrap up from Port to Port MTB, which was just over a week ago. It was four fantastic days on the bike. We loved absolutely every second of it, even the big climbs. Um, so make sure you have a look on our channel here at our highlights uh, and learn a little bit more about what is involved in Port to Port MTB. Uh, maybe we'll see you out there next year. Thanks very much. That's Flow Lounge again this week. Give us a subscribe, give us a like, whatever you want. Um, see you out there.